Hello everybody, Tom here from TTG and welcome on board Norwegian Encore. It's the newest, shiniest, best baby in uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines fleet and we're here as we sail to Southampton on the European trade shakedown. I'm, uh, I'm joined by two very lovely people this afternoon to chat about the ship and do a bit of a masterclass in terms of selling it. We've got David Sanderson here from Norwegian Cruise Line. David looks after Ireland and Scotland. Do the on the road video, David. Right? I am that indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And also joined with uh, by Kelly um, Kerry Gallagher from uh, Dallas Travel Europe, uh, the marketing director of B2B. So some excellent stuff. Two very knowledgeable people. Thanks for joining us. And uh, right, let's kick off with I suppose a pretty easy question. Are you both having fun on board? Amazing. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. Yeah. And what type of stuff have you been up to, David? What you've been showing agents? How many agents have you got on board um, to look after? We've got uh, over 2,000 in total from the uh, UK market, uh, from uh, Middle East, Africa, States, everywhere. Um, I'm from the UK with 600. Please to say we've got a lot of Scottish people on board, which is my region. <laughs> Big on the Scots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Ireland. Yes, and the Irish. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. And, um, and Kerry, a little birdie told me that this might be your first cruise? Yes, I, I, I want to say I'm ashamed to say, um, yes, it is my very first time on a cruise ship, so really excited to be able to, to uh, step on board Norwegian on port and, and have this experience. So it's been fantastic so far. I really didn't know what to expect, so it's been, yeah, it's been brilliant. This ship is fantastic. There's so much to do on board. It's, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. I kind of wish we were on here for long, to be honest. <laughs> oh, God, 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 I get off tomorrow. God. Um, but, um, but yeah, I suppose to kick off then, you know, what kind of stuff is new? Because obviously with the, the Breakaway Plus class, which Encore is, I think it's the 17th um, ship in the fleet, isn't it? Yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it's the last Breakaway yeah. Plus. So, so David, can you sort of regale us with what's what's new and what agents, you know, watching this on TG's Facebook page should be, should be looking out for in terms of selling it? It's, there's lots of unique selling points for the ship. We've got like the racetrack, uh, mm -hmm. which is just phenomenal. Um, it's, it's it's very very clever. It's semi electric cars that are on, and when you've got your um, your your helmet on, there's the noise of the engine coming through <laughs> your. It's so clever. The noise of the engine and there's a the smell of diesel strike. Oh, so yeah, just to give you that authenticity <laughs> of uh, of actually being on the racetrack, and that is brilliant fun. And it's funny when both the agents are on there kind of testing it out. The men are so competitive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a, a, a boy in his car. <laughs> so all these boy races are coming out in the travel trade wanting to beat somebody. <laughs> There's so much to do. And in terms of, obviously, where where is Encore going to be sailing then? It's going to be Caribbean based. Okay. Um, uh, and it'll be doing like seven nights out of Miami in its, uh, in its first season. Talking about the many, many onboard features and venues and entertainment and um, whatnot on board. So I think we're talking about Kinky Boots, oh, which, is, <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is the new show on board Norwegian Encore. And uh, you were saying, yeah, uh, sort of drag-tastic. Drag-tastic, I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely did it creative, but, um, but yeah, and in terms of um, where Encore's going to be sailing, you're saying um, Caribbean. So Caribbean, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we, we like to put a big ship like this in the Caribbean because of the, the amount of passengers that it takes and the facilities on board. Because mm -hmm. when you're doing a, a like a, a nice seven night cruise like that, you want to be able to enjoy what the ship's got to offer. Yeah. Because cruising clients are really different. You get some clients that are very destination driven. Mm -hmm. So they'll go on the cruise because of the post of call you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But the other end is you get clients who are very much that's the ship I like mm -hmm. and they stay with the ship because they like the ship. Um, and it's it's no different from somebody who goes back to the same hotel every mm -hmm. year. True. They like to come back to the ship you're with, you know. Um, so yes, this would be Caribbean based. Uh, Fantastic. Design. And in terms of NCL as, as a whole, as a fleet in the cruise line, where are some of your sort of key, key destinations then? Um, we, we sell a lot in Europe, but we're worldwide. Mm. We've got 17 ships in the fleet. Uh, we go to like 300 ports of call. Um, yes. It's just it's phenomenal, whether it's, um, it's Europe, maybe going to like Barcelona, mm. Venice, Rome, um, the Baltics, like Copenhagen to do like um, Scandinavia and Russia. Um, Caribbean to Stronghold, Alaska, and one of the big things for like, uh, next year is uh, is Eurasian cruising. Oh, cool. um, with, uh, it's, it's a huge market, a uh, nation market, and where um, Norwegian Spirit um, is going to dry dock in uh, February next year. And one big difference we're doing with that, and it's great for, for the guys at too, is that we're doing long cruises mm -hmm. um, out of Asia. So it's like if a client wants to do um, China and Japan, they can do that on a 13, 
50 miles. Mm. See all the big places, you know, like Tokyo, Shanghai, Beijing, yeah. Nagasaki, mm. just brilliant. So yeah. oh, that's, that's all the same for next year. And I know Kerry sort of like, yeah, eagerly sort of agree here in terms of exactly. where are you guys for Cruise Plus? Where are you, where are you seeing the demand from from Asia at the moment in the destinations? Yeah, so um, Cruise Plus, we cover obviously ocean, river, expedition, luxury, ultra luxury. So there's there's a range of different um, different cruises we offer. Um, ocean is always kind of a, a, a main staple, really. It's just so incredibly popular. Yeah. Um, the Med will always be you know one of the key destinations. The Caribbean as well is is a, is a growing destination for us as well. But there's just there's just so much choice out there, really. Um, and it's said with new new ships like this launching a new destination, mm -hmm. it's such an exciting time to be part of the industry, really. Fantastic. And obviously you're talking about choice you know ncl created a freestyle freestyle cruising and in terms of um the whole uh, free at sea i know you guys have premium mm -hmm. inclusive before yeah, but now you've got free at sea can you sort of talk to us a little bit about free at yeah. sea it seems like sort of choosing things you want to do on board when you want to do them and paying how much you want to sort of do for that makes sense well, well very much the, the whole freestyle um, and free at sea with uh, the norwegian were very much it's your holiday you should do what you want you should mm -hmm. dine when you mm -hmm. like where you like we don't have Monday nights are formal nights mm. and you're having dinner at 6 30 on the same <laughs> table with 10 other people. Mm. We don't do that. We say to you, if you want to go to a smart restaurant, just smart for that. If you want to be casual, mm. just be casual and it's to give you that choice. Um, so there's that aspect of it. It's a relaxed um, dress code yeah. on board. We refer to resort casual. Mm -hmm. um, and it works really well for us. So we, we moved from premium. Um, and about sort of March, April time was it? Um, April, time? April, April um, yeah. this year. So we're just coming up to a, a, a year next year and for that. And the free C option, it means that you buy your basic cruise rates. The guys that travel to Cruise Plus, they will quote a cruise for you. Mm -hmm. um, and for £99 um, for a week, the passengers can add on a choice of either having the drinks package uh, included. Um, you can have uh, 250 minutes Wi-Fi. You can make short excursion credits. Um, and you can also have speciality dining. Oh, the Scottish and the Irish, they take the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> We've had it out of shadow of a doubt. This was, yeah, this is what I wanted to ask really, so to, because I know that um, um, some of the, the guys have mentioned already while we've been on board. I know that Eamon, um, Eamon Ferrer, the yeah. UK boss, said that it's about, for the UK market, it's dining and mm. it's about drinking. But is, is that true in terms of that, that's what resonates most with UK customers? Most people take the drinks back as good yeah. for money. Um, it's not just, you know, when you're in a, one of the bars, you don't hear people just saying, can I have a gin and tonic? <laughs> they will say, I'd like a tan cream fee mm -hmm. They ask yes. for specifics because it's yeah. premiums that we've got on there. So it's all of your, your, your beers, your wines, your cocktails, Prosecco. That's the great value of having that. So yes, we, we mainly default to, to drinks package and specialty dining. Um, and it, it's going really, really well for us because it's brought the prices down. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes all about getting the eyeball of the price yeah. um, for the agents and uh, then just have a, a small add on. In terms of what sort of sets NCL apart, do you think it's that it's that choice really that you guys yeah. are doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, we just sort of say. And then in terms of some of the other stuff, um, just sort of wanted to fill everyone in in case they in case they saw us showing the technical uh, technical blackout. We um, in terms of new stuff for, for Encore, then it's the, the Italian restaurant, isn't it? Um, on Dubai, Scarfetta. Have you been there, David? What's it like? Is it nice? Look, yeah, I had it a few nights ago. It was brilliant. I haven't been there. Yep. I'm hoping to be there tonight. Um, yeah. It's it's good to have a variety and new restaurants coming mm -hmm. on board. It, it's 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 a big brand name for us to have on board, and it's just again giving that choice for something a little bit different. The one restaurant I popped into it's new is um, is Ocean Blue, and Ocean Blue mm -hmm. is a combination of seafood and steak. Oh, nice! Brought nice. together, yeah. I like surf and turf. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So a really nice yeah. different menu, which is is good to have. You know. Fantastic, and uh, and Kerry, how's your uh, your first or first cruise go so far? Are there any elements of the ship that you really like to explore as we the time we've got left? Um, definitely, there's there's so much to do on board. Like I said, that you kind of do what you want here longer because there's so much you want to tick off. Um, I'm keen to try out the spa. Oh, I'll okay, be honest. Nice, nice. And we went out the front <laughs> estate. Looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice. And yeah. some, some lovely areas in there. So if there's time, we might might yeah. pop back and this afternoon. But some other restaurants as well. Like I, like I said, you wish you could dine in the mall. It's really hard to pick where, where you want to eat. The restaurant looks yeah. absolutely phenomenal. And um, this this uh, smokehouse. Yeah, looks great. So this yeah. So that's probably what I'm excited about this evening so picking where to go and eat tonight is probably going to be the most difficult decision <laughs> <laughs> as usually whenever i'm uh, yeah you know on the you know that's what i'm looking at first you know mm. the heart wants all the stomach <laughs> <laughs>